Welcome to the Eclectic Thrifter Crafter. Hello! Today we're going to revisit our Little Wire Christmas tree and we're going to use this wonderful thrifted buttercream Luke Craft glitter. I paid a dollar and a half for it on 50% off day. A jar this size retails for about six dollars. And we're going to use a little bit of nail gel and our wonderful thrifted ashtray to catch all our glitter. I'm using the nail gel rather than school adhesive because it dries quicker and uh, I think the glitter will hold faster to it and then I can give it another coat once the glitter has dried onto the star. I hope you're all having a wonderful summer and enjoying all the wonderful Christmas and July thrifts and crafts that are going on right now. I'm having a wonderful time. I've never done this before, so this will be my first summer sharing with you. Now I was so excited to get started I forgot to take the seal off, so pardon me just one moment. No, still can't do it. I have carpal tunnel and so about this time my hands are numb. And uh, I really can't operate very well. But uh, I plug along. It's been 30 years so I'm quite used to it. pretty. I have a nice project planned for next week involving this white glitter and that was one of the reasons I was on the hunt for it and was so absolutely so pleased when I found it. I found three large jars and two small ones of this very glitter and uh, we're going to do something vintage and very special next week. I might squeak out three or four projects next week. Isn't that pretty? Now the surface I'm working on is a thrifted glass cutting board. I flip the rough side over and use the smooth side when I'm working with glue or um, enamels or anything that needs to be scraped off easily. I thrifted, thrifted it for about a dollar and um, it comes in very handy and you can get them in several sizes as you probably already know. Now here we have some vintage holiday greeting cards I've printed off and I have printed up off on a not so fancy cardstock. And these images for our purpose today are about an inch and a half. And these larger pictures I'm about to share with you. We will visit those in another craft next week. Aren't those sweet? Some of these cards as I was searching for them I remember having them at the house when I was little so they were sort of like visiting old friends. And now we're going to get to work. For our purpose this craft is very tiny and so um, if you do make a mistake these little cards are very forgiving. 
and now we can just sit back and enjoy the music together. Many of my projects are little tedious projects, but I don't mind them so much. It's a good time to sit back and think, or listen to some music, or watch your favorite movie, or listen to your favorite book. So I don't mind the tedious tasks. Here we go. About this time, my hands are very numb and I actually cannot feel the wire, so this is why I'm struggling. When I found this little tree at the thrift store last week, I thought, what am I going to do with it? I know I can do something fun with it. And then I realized, oh my goodness, I can have the most wonderful retro little Christmas card tree. And so this will join my mid-century themed Christmas. Well, here we are. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends, hit the notification button, and I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day. Share in the comments below and tell me what you think.